Great day. This is TMD, Tasha M. Dyer. And ladies and gentlemen, just wanted to do a really quick recap for our trades this week. Um, just kind of looking at some of the things that we discussed on our on our call on Tuesday. As you notice, here I am on the DXY. We focus heavily. We had a heavy focus on DXY. We actually talked about exactly what the DXY is and how it impacts the market and the currency pairs that are actually involved in it. Now, what you're looking at is our DXY. You can see that uh, momentum, that trend, that shift that's actually taking place. And it actually rejected in that area that we discussed, as you can see this little bar right there. Now, I'm on the four hour, but I'm going to jump on over here to our GBP USD. Now, what we have been looking for previously was for GBP USD to drop. Now, this is where we were rejecting. As we discussed on our call, the um, currency pair actually moved up, but we were still anticipating, and ta-da, it did just that. We had an alert set. That alert did trigger, and when that alert triggered, you had an opportunity to jump in and take the trade. So hopefully you all actually took advantage of that, took advantage of that trade, took advantage of that alert. Now, if I dive over to our Euro USD, it is still moving a little sideways. Not going to really go into a full description on this one because this is doing exactly what we discussed. We had already discussed this rejection. These are some of the student comments from the call based on what they believed that was going to happen. And then, of course, we dis re discussed it again because this was last week. We discussed it again you know, as, as we saw what Euro USD was doing. Now, I do definitely want to talk about really quickly our Euro GBP, Euro GBP. Now, what we also got to see on this currency pair, if you notice, we have a small area right here where we um, actually identified a support and resistance line where it was reacting. We drilled down to the lower time frames to show you how the market was moving. Our trend line that's in the dark blue is from our higher time frame. We discussed not to take a trade, even though we had a trigger. We had something identifying this for a sale, but we discussed how we were not taking it and exactly what we would have to see in order to take it. Now, for those of you all who did not take it, who followed the who followed the market structure and listened to what the market was telling you, you see how it pushed up. It actually broke through right? It broke through that psych level. It broke through that other support and resistance line. And then, of course, now it's actually has some momentum and it's moved up. Actually, the euro is the stronger currency, which is why this one has not moved that much, but this one has. So that's it. Just wanted to give you a really quick recap for what we discussed this week, actually what was taking place and some of the currencies that we looked at. This is Tasha M. Dyer, the Trade Whisperer. And guys, I will see you tomorrow morning on Thursday morning. Yes, Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then, of course, we'll definitely be navigating through the week um, next week as we prepare for another weekly outlook. I love you all. You all be blessed. Be wild. Be trading. Academy. Get enrolled today. Get enrolled. Get enrolled.